hair. I just blow dry it. But I just want to talk about really quickly how I got booted and in trouble with YouTube. Mm. So, a, f um, a couple of days ago, I was down in um, Tucson and this naked guy was standing on the side of the road and I was vlogging. So I was like, oh, I'm going to put this in my... But Stop. that wasn't a good idea because I literally, maybe two days later, I got an email from YouTube and they were like, uh, you got banned. You, I can't go live for 90 days. Like it's some seriousness. So I encourage you to make sure that we're all following the rules, even though the rules are kind of, you know, like, okay, well, we'll allow this naked person on, but I'm not going to allow your naked. My video or probably. somebody reported me, and um, because I've gotten a lot of hate, and I report the hate, so maybe they created another YouTube. I'm going to put this wildness up because I'm waiting for my, um, my straightener to warm up. As you can see, I have, I have Nana's hair. It's usually curly um, if I put some stuff in, but anyway. I got booted and I, or I got in trouble. So I guess you can get three strikes and you're out. And I got one Can't strike live for I literally 90 days. Oh my gosh, what the heck? 90 days. That's three months that I can't go live. Not that it, I go live very often anyway. But they're serious. So I encourage you not to get booted off of YouTube. Especially if you're trying to... Or don't put naked photos up. Or naked people up. I, and I can see what, you know. I just thought it was perfect for my vlogging. I guess I was being selfish for a minute. I get it. I get it now. Don't need to tell me I got booted or I got in trouble with YouTube because I posted a video with a naked man in it. And I didn't think twice about it. Just because I've seen naked women all the time, like giving birth. And I guess, um, and I see naked women breastfeeding with their boobs and stuff like that. Or I've seen, I've seen naked people online or on YouTube. So I was like, maybe... This, I mean, I didn't think that I would get booted. Have you gotten booted off of YouTube? Like, what did you do? And how long were you booted off of lives and stuff like that? Comment. Tell me. I don't want to feel like I'm alone in this. In this bootation. Oh, I hate eyebrows. I hate them. I have eyebrows. Pretty much every woman draws them in anyway. So I am just drawing them in, peeps. So anyway, tell me, what did you do to get booted? I just posted a naked video. A guy who a was down, actually he was at the campus of Tucson, U of A, and he was chilling. And I got it on video, and I was vlogging. I was like, oh, this is perfect. Upload it. Why not? Well, don't do that. Don't do that. That's all wrong. All wrong, people. So if I can save somebody else from getting booted... Here's my story. Don't do it. I'm sure you all know not to. Just because it's kind of common sense, pretty much, but whatevs. Guess you gotta push the limits until you get told not to. <laughs> Okay, so this one's darker than this one. I'll fix it. But thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment if you've ever got booted off of, or if you've gotten a font or a, a warning on YouTube. Let me know what you did. And if you're, did they keep you from doing lives for 90 days, like the whole 90 days, or if you were able to go 
live sooner? I would like to know. Inquiring minds want to know because I was like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Wait a minute. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to get ready. I got to go to an open house and I'm running late. Have a great day.